Hi Capricorn, what's good with you? My lovely goats, I hope you're doing very well. I'm getting like a Donald Trump energy there. My lovely goats, are you climbing today? Let's see. Oh, let me just, yes. Okay. Let's start out with the Moonology card for you. What does Capricorn need to know from the Moonology deck, please? So weird. Last week, twice, two different times I saw one Capricorn come through my dreams. I saw her. Once she had a mask on, and then the second time she didn't. <laughs> we got for you. Expect powerful change. The energy is gaining momentum. You and your loved ones are safe. That sounds good to me, right? You and your loved ones are safe. Balance spirituality and practicality. There could be something right now that's been taking up a lot of your focus. You may need to just that there to just tend to some other things that maybe have been feeling a little neglected feeling so it could be a person um something in your practical life needs attention is what i'm feeling more than the spiritual side but you'll know capricorn yeah and both times i only saw her very briefly too i don't i hope she's not doing anything shady because i see you girl i see you all right um I always, yeah, it's one of those things. I catch people. I always just tend to catch people when they're doing something spiritually or physically. It's... All right, so let's see. What do we have here? The Knight of Swords, the world, the moon. This is a lot, Capricorn. The Nine of Wands and release. The Death card. We have the emperor here, Aries energy. This is a whole five card reading. I was just gonna ask for your current energy. What I'm getting from this is there's some kind of recklessness that's been going on, recklessness. And I'm just hearing like noise in the background almost and it's being cut off here with the world, which is lovely that the world and the moon and the death are prevailing in this energy. And then we have the knight of swords and the nine of wands. Nine of Wands is your advice to protect your energy. So Capricorn, whatever that means for you. And I started off this video saging. Maybe some of you need to do that. You need to do some smoke. Um, I'm hearing smoke rituals. Culturally, that may be significant to you. Get into your smoke rituals. Get into your prayer, intense meditation, all of that. Protect your energy. Maybe there's somebody trying to interfere with your energy right now, Capricorn. But what's crossing this recklessness is that it's not going to work. I feel like it's coming to an end here, which is lovely. And then the moon is your focus here, something that you're keeping close to your chest, listening to your intuition, and not, fo and not worrying, not focusing on worry as well. So release your worries. I feel like there's a need for you to um, release any stress you may be feeling right now as best you can, and that could help you by doing some cleansing of your energy and your physical space as well. You know, tap into that obsessive Virgo energy and cleanse a bit <laughs> your home sweep the floors um, I'm hearing the walls as well um, so maybe you're a Virgo or a Capricorn who has Virgo deeply in your chart somewhere combine those energies right now to cleanse physically spiritually all that good stuff that's just a side note for somebody but what we have is your advice here Capricorn is to protect your energy er, there it is again protect your energy, but this is protect what you've created in this deck. Protect what you've created, and that could be, for some of you, protecting an energy you've created up until this point. Be prepared, never give up. So there's something that's requiring your attention in your everyday life. We got balanced spirituality and practicality, and I'm feeling that practical energy. So do protect your spiritual energy, but there's something in your everyday energy that you need to protect too, whether it be your finances, um, organizations, something about tending to the details of the everyday needs your attention. So if that's something that you've been neglecting a bit, it's time to focus in on that Capricorn. Ask your angels for help and um, also give your animals a little extra love right now if you have animals. And then the outcome is the death. Endings that need to, to new beginnings. 
releasing situations that hold you back and spiritual transformation. And you could be stepping into a new role, I'm feeling, because the overall energy here is the emperor, is the boss, the boss energy, boss situations, and we have the justice here. So if there has been something reckless going on, yeah, because I have the Four of Cups here and the King of Pentacles. Somebody trying to mess with your energy, mess with your money. I feel like you remaining in your Capricorn energy, that goat energy, that climbing the mountain energy, not letting it get you down or distract you from the needs of your everyday life and the people you love. I feel like the more you feed into that positive energy that's already around you and grow that, the weaker this other energy becomes. That's what I'm feeling. Logic and organization will increase your success. That's no issue for a Capricorn, right? Tap into it. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role. Some of you could also be stepping into a leadership role here. Somebody might have tried to cut that away from you or take that from you in some way. And they're failing, of course. They're failing, period, point blank. Well, that was a lot for the energy you're in. I don't even feel like I need to pull another spread for you, but I will. Because you're my Capricorn. Is there any other card just showing what energy Capricorn embodies right now? This is a warning for somebody. Release, justice, the emperor, and the knight of swords. So, so yeah, some of you need to increase your focus. Somebody might have a stutter as well, because I was like, so, 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 so. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> oh, somebody is about drug use. Sipping on some syrup, sipping on some sip. Somebody's doing too much, combining things that they should not be combining. You need to take control of your energy, do better, okay? I don't mean for that to sound harsh, but there's gonna be an outcome that fits the activity if you don't stop. That's for somebody. So the Knight of Swords has come out twice. It could be reckless and I'm feeling that for some people and for others I feel it's focus, which is really important right now. Really important. So we'll leave that where it is. Okay. And we will, yeah, focus, focus on something before you end up having a missed opportunity or you're gonna end up regretting something as well. But overall, protect your energy. I feel like there's a warning for somebody about the drug use, but also this could be alcohol as well. Um, if there is somebody trying to invade your spiritual energy, or tap into your auric field or something like that, they're being very reckless. Um, this person is not listening to their higher counsel and they're going to suffer a consequence. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to protect your energy as best as you can and your, your team is gonna take care of the rest, okay? Is there anything from this deck for Capricorn? Because we already got a reading out. We have the Ace of Cups here. Oh, we have the Fool. We have the Three of Swords, yeah. High Priestess is your advice here with the Queen of Wands being the outcome. Beautiful. There's still time to salvage a situation for sure, Capricorn. Ace of Wands is the overall energy. You need to tap into your mental a bit as well. There's a, a heartbreaking situation causing distraction for you right now. Um, but the focus... Yeah, your focus is heartbreak, but what you have here in your energy is a new beginning, a beautiful new beginning. You might want to watch Scorpio. They had focus on the new beginnings. And um, that could be advice for some of you as well. But your reading is kind of loud and clear and really direct. It's like there's good energy surrounding you, but you're focused on something else. You could be focused on trying to renew something. We're going to clarify this fool for sure. Um... Either that or somebody else wants a new beginning with you and it's taking up a lot of their mental space, but what's blocking it is your new beginning. But the main focus here is the three of swords either way, heartbreak. So somebody is just feeling all out of sorts and I'm getting a delusional energy as well. So if there's somebody, for instance, who has been trying to tap into your energy a lot, it's because they think you've wronged them in some way. 
or somebody who's trying to manipulate things against you, it's because they feel you've wronged them, but uh, it's coming through as delusion. So this person is struggling with their ego, and that is con the devil card. They're, they're struggling with their ego, and it's causing them to behave in a reckless way. And I'm, I'm not feeling this is you, Capricorn, and I really hope it's not you. The advice either way here is the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. Go into your higher self. Listen to your higher counsel. If you're somebody who's been behaving recklessly, you're juggling with your life, don't do that, okay? And the outcome of you doing that, the outcome of you taking this advice, tapping into the high priestess energy, Pisces energy here, you could also be dealing with the Pisces, the outcome is the Queen of Wands. It's you cultivating something new, something beautiful. I just heard Sagittarius. So somebody could have Sagittarius heavily aspected in their chart as well. But yeah, this is this is has it has to do a lot with and there's that stutter again. It has to do with somebody, um, they're just being very reckless. And I also just got like the image of somebody at a spiritual retreat getting high on and whatever they provide at spiritual retreats. And I haven't gone to one. I'm curious about it though. I'm curious about that. Somebody could be abusing that. Oh my goodness. Like I'm getting the energy of somebody who's like posing as a shaman as well. Posing as a shaman and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are they going to write a show about that? Posing as a shaman and then doing drugs on the side. A drug addict. So this is somebody who is has shaman ancestry. They could be a shaman, but they're abusing that. They are like dealing drugs on the side or abusing drugs. And they're being very reckless with their gifts. Very, very reckless. Okay, that's a side note that keeps wanting to come through. Well, they could be trying to steal information from other people's um, minds, which is sounds crazy. Uh, in a physical way, this could be somebody who's trying to steal other people's ideas. Um, let's clarify. This person needs to stop focusing on their pain and actually heal. But we're going to clarify this three of swords for you as well, just in case this is you focusing on a situation that's caused you pain. Because you do have positive energy here. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, no more being left out in the cold. Or somebody thinks maybe they've gotten a victory in leaving you out in the cold. They could be finding out they're wrong. This can make them upset. But I feel like it's a new beginning. Like there's, there's an energy of you coming out of feeling this way with the Five of Pentacles. Anything else for this Ace of Cups and Five of Pentacles, please? Justice. It fell sideways. And we have Five, Five regret. So I just heard like you're focusing on something that no longer deserves your attention. You're focusing on something that's it's pulling you back and it's like starting you over when you've already been through this. So someone, please come out of it. Whatever this is, there's something really trying to hold on to you that you need to let go of because it can only contain you if you keep focusing on it. And that's what I'm feeling because I feel like there is a new beginning here. Unless you're going all the way back to things, people, situations that no longer deserve your attention. Or a pain, a painful memory. I just got like an Islander vibe as well. But a painful memory that is for some reason resurfacing right now. Saturn is in retrograde. You may want to watch your Saturn placement. But like a painful memory that's resurfacing right now. And the moon is in Pisces. So like those feelings could be growing more intense. Eight of Swords. And I'm not knowing what to do here. I'm feeling a little bit. And then we have the Six of Cups, the King of Swords. Yeah. Could be playing past situations a lot in your head, but it's like don't waste this new beginning on things that have already come and gone, I'm hearing. What is this Three of Swords here as the focus? focused so maybe you you are moving i see you and your loved ones are safe here so this 
could have been something surrounding your home too, maybe feeling like maybe your home wasn't safe. There we go, yeah. Ace of Swords, death and rebirth here. So it's like, don't fall back into that pattern. Um, it's time to let that go. No more focusing on the heartbreak. I just heard take a look around. Yeah, it's within your power to change a situation. Let's see, Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Could have been dealing with a, a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. This person could be focused on you as well. And they might want to come visit you or they, they may want to... Yeah, it's weird. It's like they want to best you in some way. With the Six of Wands being there. Why is this the focus? Okay. So somebody's really struggling, Capricorn. So they, But they're going about it in such a terrible way. I feel like there's something they could do to just be honest with you. But you're holding back from this person. Let's see. The advice here is the high priestess going within, tapping into your intuition. What's the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Is advice for my Capricorns? You'll get the answers when you do this. You'll get the answers when you. I'm seeing again balance, spirituality, and practicality. So for some of you, this is about. Meditating. Maybe some of you look to and you get answers when you meditate. But it's like answers about your practical life. It's connected to your practical life somehow. I really hope this is not over like a love interest because that would be so annoying if somebody has been like distancing themselves from you or wanting to compete with you or affect your life because of a man or a woman like that's just the silliest thing in the world to me anything more on this high priestess and the five of swords protect your energy nine of wands again coming through so yeah this is giving like psychic attack so even though this person thinks highly of you it's like they still are not behaving in a, a rational way and they're being very reckless and I feel like this is like all over the place. I think we got the reading you needed in the very beginning, first 10 minutes of the video. What's this Queen of Wands as the outcome? We have the Seven of Swords here, King of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So, yeah, this is a matter of your peace, your personal peace. And I'm hearing intellect, of course, with the Capricorn. So that's what you're protecting. It, really, this seems like a psychic attack. There does seem to be some sort of a witch involved here, too. Um... And it just seems like they're trying to steal. That's what it is. The outcome is they're trying to steal your personal piece or they're trying to steal something from you. Could even be trying to steal your gifts. But I'm feeling like it's your zen and they really just don't like it. Um, that they're not able to do this. You're, you could just be comfortable. You could have a comfortable home. Um, you could have new love on the way. You could just be feeling generally like you're pretty blessed. And this person would rather you be focused on heartache. So they're trying to disturb your, your energy. So don't, don't give in to that, please. Do protect your energy. Uh, stutters are very significant for some reason here. This could involve somebody who stutters. Ten of Cups here. And then we have the world. 
that's, yeah, I don't like this very much at all. Ten of Cups, the Wheel, the Sun, Four of Swords, your focus, and then the, the higher font here. Your focus needs to just be on you right now, Capricorn, in this situation. Don't focus so much on this negative energy that's like trying to engulf you. But I do want to see like why is the world here? I think this person's games are coming to an end. But they've been trying to stop your Ten of Cups, your happiness for some reason. Why is the world here? Clarifying the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they gotta let it go. Five of Cups, Four of Cups. It's like coming to an end. I feel like whatever they're about to do, it's reckless and it's not a good idea. And I feel like it is going to backfire on them massively. It's so weird, Capricorn, because that's what I was getting in the beginning. I was seeing somebody who is like trying to, you know, peek in unlawfully. But it's like, I could, like I was saying, I could see their face. The first time I, they had a mask on, the second time I saw them. Maybe you have an inkling of who this is who's trying to do this. Um, what's an oracle for Capricorn here? And for some of you, it could be more in a practical way. Is somebody just trying to mess with your life in some way or disturb your peace. And you're just like, I know what you're doing and just stop. Like, it's such a waste of time. They're going to end up stabbing themselves in the foot. But either way, this has to come to an end. And this person has not been listening to higher counsel. What's, uh, what's an oracle, please, for Capricorn? Don't seek anyone's approval. I feel almost like that's this person's attitude, but not in a good way. I feel like this is somebody who is, is not seeking anyone's approval, like not even the most high, not even their spirit team, and they're a little bit overconfident. So it's like really embodying someone who is in the devil energy. But like we said before, be your own first priority. Be your own first priority. If you're somebody watching who's like, I'm getting like an obsessed energy, obsessed with somebody else. You need to focus on yourself. Yeah, I'm hearing even concentrate on you, but not like in a romantic way. This could be an, a jilted lover from the past too, who might have hired a spiritualist. Um, but you need to stop. Your main focus needs to be your own life, not messing up someone else's. And if you know that there's somebody who's been trying to mess with your energy or your life, protect your energy, protect your home, physically, spiritually, and keep living your life and tend to the everyday things. So we got in the beginning, expect powerful change. The energy is getting momentum, but more importantly, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, but there's some nasty energy here. Anything else from the oracles for Capricorn? Yeah, focus on the good and something beautiful will come from it. I think someone else is playing reckless games and they're about to learn. They're about to learn. Especially when it comes to Capricorn. Like this person is going to go down and I don't think they're even like expecting it because they're so arrogant. Like this person is so arrogant. But you focus on your own life, painting the sun back into your own sky and good things will continue to come to you. You're safe. Please don't worry, but protect your physical and energetic space as much as you can so you can stay in your, I'm hearing Zen bubble, or your comfort, you know, your, your comfortable place. Not comfort zone, but a peaceful place, all right? That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Best of luck with this energy. You know, I'm very annoyed by this person. It's like an, an unreasonable arrogance, all right? So they need to get over it. Until next time, I'll affirm for you and for me, all is well. All is well. Ashe. Bye.